Welcome to episode 56 of Therese Talk. I'm your host, Therese Main. By day, I co-host a morning radio show on a network in New York and Pennsylvania. By night, I'm a podcaster. If you're a woman like me who loves Jesus and just wants to serve her family and community a little better, you're in the right place. If you would, take a moment right now and subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. What does it take to make a good friend? We all have different standards and expectations. So who from the Bible do you think would make a great friend? We asked that question on our Family Life Facebook page, and the answers were amazing. It got me thinking, what makes a great friend, and how can you be a good friend? Samantha chimed in with Esther because she was willing to risk her life for her people. A friend who's willing to sacrifice and stick up for you is a great trait. Sandy said Esther, too, because she was courageous. Joanne relates to Martha because they both love to entertain and care for other people. Lori picked Ruth because she has a friend with that name who shares many traits with the Ruth in the Bible. Tammy picked Naomi because of her love of Ruth. Maggie said she thought she could be great friends with the woman Jesus saved from being stoned. She related to being at your lowest low and being rescued by Jesus. Isn't it something? Friends who are with you in your darkest days are usually the ones you keep the longest. Jean saw a good friend in Rahab. She was ready to do what needed to be done at just the right time. Chris picked the mother of Moses, Jochebed. She was strong, determined in her faith. She obeyed what might have seemed like a little crazy to some other people. It's always fun to have one crazy friend, isn't it? <laughs> Lauren says she would have liked to have been friends with Mary as a teenager. After 400 years of silence from God, Mary was still faithful to him, so faithful that he trusted her to raise his son. Lauren says she's always been fascinated fascinated by that silence from God. Today, so many people run to the next best thing if God hasn't answered our prayers by the very next day. Taylor said Noah would be a good friend because even in a world of hate and evil, Noah stayed loyal to God. A loyal friend is a good thing indeed. Jennifer thought it would be neat to be friends with Job because he went through so many hard times and that gave him a lot of wisdom to share. Isn't it great when we can learn godly lessons from our friends? Patrick thinks Joseph would have been a good friend because he was quick to forgive and trusting in God. Matt relates with Gideon and how he's such a regular guy. Mary chose Joshua because of his strong and courageous faith. Joe likes how Daniel is always honest and real. Samson was who Don thought of right away. Brian said he would have been good to have around if you had to move because he's so strong. Marlene would be friends with Barnabas because he helped Paul and Mark to get along. It's always good to have a peacemaker in your friend group. Plus, his name means son of encouragement. And who wouldn't want to be encouraged by a friend, right? Jim felt like he'd be buddies with people. Peter. First, he can relate to his failings and his faith, plus fishing. Debbie named Luke as a great friend from the Bible because she's a nurse, and the fact that he was a physician means they'd have a lot to talk about. Having things in common is a trait of a solid friendship. Casey picked the boy who shared his loaves and fishes. Because it's good to have a friend who's going to share their lunch with you, right? <laughs> Lena and so many others chose Jesus. And yes, he is the best friend of all. John 15 verses 12 and 13 says, this is my commandment that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, that someone laid down his life for his friends by dying for each and every one of us to take away our sins. Jesus proved that he is the ultimate friend. The Bible is full of great friends, and we can learn from each one of them how they gave what they needed, those friendships about giving and taking. If you've enjoyed this episode of Therese Talk, be sure to subscribe and look for the next episode on Tuesday morning. If you really loved it, consider making a gift to Family Life, the ministry this podcast is a part of. Just go to familylife.org and find out more about what we do. Did you know Family Life offers a variety of podcasts from news to kids to faith? You'll find a favorite on demand at familylife.org slash podcast.